The Bulgarians are a South Slavic people who are native to Bulgaria and neighboring regions. Bulgarians have lived between the Upper Danube, the Aegean, Adriatic, and Black Seas in Southeastern Europe history. Ethnogenesis The Bulgarians descend mainly from three tribal groups, with different origins and numbers, which became assimilated and formed a Slavic-speaking ethnicity in the First Bulgarian Empire, the indigenous late Roman provincial peoples. Thraco-Romans and Thraco-Byzantines, from whom cultural and ethnic elements were taken, the early Slavs from whom the basis of the language was inherited, the Bulgars, from whom the ethnonym and the early statehood were inherited, the Thracian language probably became extinct in the 6th century, but was still spoken throughout the late and middle 6th century, Scythia Minor and Moesia Inferior appear to have been Romanized. Although the region became a focus of barbarian resettlements during the 4th and early 5th centuries AD, before a further Romanization episode during the early 6th, however, some pre-Slavic linguistic and cultural traces might have been preserved in modern Bulgarians. The early Slavs emerged from their original homeland in the early 6th century and spread to most of the eastern central Europe, eastern Europe and the Balkans, thus forming three main branches, the West Slavs, gradually inflicting total linguistic replacement to Thracian if the Thracians had not already been Romanized or Hellenized. The Byzantines grouped the numerous Slavic tribes into two groups, the Sklavenoir and Antes. Some Bulgarian scholars suggest that the Antes became one of the ancestors of the modern Bulgarians. The Bulgars are first mentioned in the 4th century in the vicinity of the North Caucasian steppe. Scholars often suggest that their ultimate origins can be traced to the Central Asian nomadic confederations, specifically as part of loosely related Ohurich tribes which spanned from the Pontic steppe to Central Asia. However, any direct connection between the Bulgars and postulated Asian counterparts rest on little more than speculative and contorted etymologies. In the late 7th century, some Bulgar tribes, led by Asparuk and others, led by Koba, permanently settled in the Balkans. The Bulgars are not thought to have been numerous and became a ruling elite in the areas they controlled. Asparuk's Bulgars made a tribal union with the Severians and the Seven Clans, who were resettled to protect the flanks of the Bulgar settlements in Scythia Minor. During the early Byzantine era, the Roman provincials in Scythia Minor and Moesia Secunda were already engaged in economic and social exchange with the barbarians north of the Danube. This might have facilitated their eventual Slavonization. Although the majority of the population appears to have been tactically withdrawn to the hinterland of Constantinople or Asia Minor prior to any permanent Slavic and Bulgar settlements south of the Danube, the major port towns in Pontic Bulgaria remained Byzantine Greek in their outlook. The large-scale population transfers and territorial expansions during the 8th and 9th century additionally increased the number of the Slavs and Byzantine Christians within the state, making the Bulgars quite obviously a minority. The establishment of a new state molded the various Slav, Bulgar and late Roman, early Byzantine provincial populations into the Bulgarian people of the first Bulgarian Empire speaking a South Slav language. In different periods to the ethnogenesis of the local population contributed also Sarmatians, Celts, Goths, Vlachs, Greeks, Cumans, Pekinex and other Indo-European and Turkic people who settled or lived on the Balkans. Genetic origins The study of Y-DNA haplogroups has received the most attention. Bulgarians, like their immediate neighbors show the highest diversity of haplogroups in Europe, marked by significant frequencies of five major haplogroups. The major haplogroups are AL1A. Several subclades have now been identified at levels tilde 18%. The M458 branch, which is very common in Poland and other West Slavic countries is present in Bulgaria at 7.5%, whilst its frequency of 40% in Hungary, 
The remaining branches belong to the older Z280 branch. Al 1B present in Bulgarians tilde 11%. Al 1B is the most frequently occurring Y chromosome haplogroup in Western Europe. It is represented by several subclades. Some show Western European affinities, whilst the RL23 asterisk branch shows a clear relationship with Anatolia and the Near East. At present, the overall evidence suggests that the macro haplogroup R arose somewhere in southern or central Asia, perhaps northern India, their subsequent path into Europe, and exact timing of spread requires further fine resolution studies. However, a Balkan entry into Europe seems highly probable. Their overall ages depend on which mutation rate is used. The evolutionary effective rate advocated by Zivotofsky al. versus the germline mutation rate used by most genetic genealogists. The difference translates into different putative epochs of entry, last glacial maximum versus the Holocene. Haplogroup I is presented at levels tilde 27%. Evidence points to European origin for haplogroup I and Leventine for its immediate ancestor IJ, the age of HGI. Its exclusive and now patchy distribution within Europe suggests a very early entry into Europe, perhaps with Paleolithic colonization. However, subsequent events have shaped its current distribution, such as the expansion of R1b in Western Europe, R1a in Eastern Europe, as well as additional haplogroups in Southeastern Europe, almost eradicating it. Balkan HGI belongs specifically to the P37.2 M423 branch. Its most closely related to a branch is only found in the British Isles. A more distant relative, which split several thousand years ago, is the Sardinian haplogroup I2A1. Initially root C supposed a Holocene expansion of I2 in C, however the homogeneity of Balkan HGI2 and its star-like clustering suggest so far more recent expansion time. It was confirmed later that I2 started to reset Settle Eastern Europe only around 2300 YBP. Haplogroup PV68 is presented at levels 16.7% to 19.6%. EV68, also known as E1B1B1A, is a major Y chromosome haplogroup found in northeastern Africa, a Western Asia, and throughout Europe, and is in turn part of the larger haplogroup known as EM35. The ultimate origin of EV68 points to northeastern Africa, specifically near the Nile and Lake Alexandria. Thus this haplogroup represents a more recent Bronze Age out of Africa movement into Europe via the Balkans. How and when it entered the Balkans is less clear, however Krushna Real propose a Holocene movement into the Near East, then several thousand years ago, a movement into the Balkans. Recent findings of E13 in a Neolithic context in Iberia give a terminus anti-QUEM, like M423 above, however, it might have really begun to expand in the Balkans somewhat later, perhaps during the population growth of the Bronze Age, according to Krushina. Haplogroup J2 is also presented at levels tilde 11%. Whilst its origin is North Levantine, its current pattern reflects more recent events connecting the Aegean and Western Anatolia during the Copper and Bronze Ages, as well as possibly historic Greek colonization. There are several subclades within J2, J2AM410, J2BM12, M67 and M92. Finally, there are also some other Y-DNA haplogroups presented at a lower levels among Bulgarians tilde 10% altogether, as G, J1 and T. Complementary evidence exists from mtDNA data. Bulgaria shows a very similar profile to other European countries, dominated by mitochondrial haplogroups HGH, HGU, HGT, HGJ and HGK. Recent studies show greater diversity within mount haplogroups than once thought, as sub-haplogroups are being discovered. 
For example, within the apparently homogeneous European presence of HGH, subcluster H1 is more prevalent in Western Europe, while subclusters H1b and H2a are more common in Eastern Europeans. Overall until recently the Bulgarians were believed to be a tribe of Turkic origin, but the results of the study had failed to show any Turkic connection, showing that the Bulgarian population is genetically purely Indo-European and stands closest to the group of the Slavic peoples with closest genetic similarities found with the Croats. Poles and Ukrainians, the scientists reckon that Thracian and Bulgar DNA is also present in case the Bulgars were genetically unlike the Turkic peoples and originated in eastern Iran. According to other scientists, such as the Bulgarian Family Tree DNA Group Administrator, the Palestine descent and HGI are numerically the most significant parts of the Bulgarian population. Further evidence from ancient DNA, reconsiderations of mutation rates, and collateral evidence from autosomal DNA growth rates suggest that the major period of European population expansion occurred after the Holocene. Thus the current geographic spread and frequency of haplogroups has been continually shaped from the time of Paleolithic colonization to beyond the Neolithic. This process of genetic shaping continued into recorded history, such as the Slavic migrations. It is important to note that, whilst haploid markers such as mtDNA and yDNA can provide clues about past population history, they only represent a single genetic locus, compared to hundreds of thousands present in nuclear autosomal chromosomes. Analyses of autosomal DNA markers gives the best approximation of overall relatedness between populations presenting a less skewed genetic picture compared to Y-DNA haplogroups. This AT-DNA data shows that there are no sharp discontinuities or clusters within the European population. Rather there exists a genetic gradient, running mostly in a southeast to northwest direction. Bulgarians were only modestly close to their immediate eastern neighbors, the Turks suggesting the presence of certain geographic and cultural barriers. Recent studies of ancient DNA have revealed that European populations are largely descending from three ancestral groups. The first one are Paleolithic Siberians, the second one are hunter-gatherers from Northern European type, and the third one are early farmers and later arrivals from West Asia. According to this, Bulgarians are predominantly descending from early Neolithic farmers spreading the agriculture from Anatolia, and from West Asian Bronze Age invaders and cluster together with other Southern Europeans. Another of the admixture signals in that farmers involves some ancestry related to East Asians, with tilde 2% total Bulgarian ancestry proportion linking to a presence of nomadic groups in Europe from the time of the Huns to that of the Ottomans. A third signal involves admixture between the North European group from one side and the West Asian early farmers group from another side. At approximately the same time as the East Asian admixture, California, 850 AD, this event may correspond to the expansion of Slavic language-speaking people. The analysis documents this admixture in Bulgarians at a level from California, 28%. National identity The first Bulgarian Empire was founded in 681, after the adoption of Orthodox Christianity in 864 it became one of the cultural centers of Slavic Europe. Its leading cultural position was consolidated with the invention of the Cyrillic script in its capital Preslav at the eve of the 10th century. The development of Old Church Slavonic literacy in the country had the effect of preventing the assimilation of the South Slavs into neighboring cultures and it also stimulated the development of a distinct ethnic identity. A symbiosis was carried out between the numerically weak Bulgars and the numerous Slavic tribes in that broad area from the Danube to the north to the Aegean Sea to the south, and from the Adriatic Sea to the west, to the Black Sea to the east, who accepted the common ethnonym Bulgarians. 
During the 10th century the Bulgarians established a form of national identity that was far from modern nationalism but helped them to survive as a distinct entity through the centuries. In 1018 Bulgaria lost its independence and remained a Byzantine subject until 1185, when the Second Bulgarian Empire was created. Nevertheless, at the end of the 14th century, the Ottomans conquered the whole of Bulgaria. Under the Ottoman system, Christians were considered an inferior class of people. Thus, Bulgarians, like other Christians, were subjected to heavy taxes and a small portion of the Bulgarian populace experienced partial or complete Islamization. Orthodox Christians were included in a specific ethno-religious community called Rum Millet. To the common people, belonging to this Orthodox Commonwealth became more important than their ethnic origins. This community became both basic form of social organization and source of identity for all the ethnic groups inside it. In this way, ethnonyms were rarely used and between the 15th and 19th centuries, most of the local people gradually began to identify themselves simply as Christians. However, the public-spirited clergy and some isolated monasteries still kept the distinct Bulgarian identity alive, and this helped it to survive predominantly in rural, remote areas. Despite the process of ethno-religious fusion among the Orthodox Christians, strong nationalist sentiments persisted into the Catholic community in the northwestern part of the country. At that time, a process of partial Hellenization occurred among the intelligentsia and the urban population. As a result of the higher status of the Greek culture and the Greek Orthodox Church among the Balkan Christians, during the second half of the 18th century, the Enlightenment in Western Europe provided influence for the initiation of the National Awakening of Bulgaria in 1762. Some Bulgarians supported the Russian army when they crossed the Danube in the middle of the 18th century. Russia worked to convince them to settle in areas recently conquered by it, especially in Bessarabia. As a consequence, many Bulgarian colonists settled there, and later they formed two military regiments. As a part of the Russian military colonization of the area in 1759 to 1763, Bulgarian national movement during the Russo-Turkish wars and Bulgarian emigrants formed the Bulgarian countrymen's army and joined the Russian army, hoping Russia would bring Bulgarian liberation, but its imperial interests were focused then on Greece and Valachia. The rise of nationalism under the Ottoman Empire led to a struggle for cultural and religious autonomy of the Bulgarian people. The Bulgarians wanted to have their own schools and liturgy in Bulgarian, and they needed an independent ecclesiastical organization. Discontent with the supremacy of the Greek Orthodox clergy, the struggle started to flare up in several Bulgarian dioceses in the 1820s. It was not until the 1850s when the Bulgarians initiated a purposeful struggle against the Patriarchate of Constantinople. The struggle between the Bulgarians and the Greek Phanariots intensified throughout the 1860s. In 1861 the Vatican and the Ottoman government recognized a separate Bulgarian Uniate Church, as the Greek clerics were ousted from most Bulgarian bishoprics at the end of the decade. Significant areas had been seceded from the Patriarchate's control. This movement restored the distinct Bulgarian national consciousness among the common people and led to the recognition of the Bulgarian Militin, 1870 by the Ottomans. As a result, two armed struggle movements started to develop as late as the beginning of the 1870s. The Internal Revolutionary Organization and the Bulgarian Revolutionary Central Committee, their armed struggle reached its peak with the April Uprising which broke out in 1876. It resulted into the Russo-Turkish War, and led to the foundation of the Third Bulgarian State after the Treaty of San Stefano. The issue of Bulgarian nationalism gained greater significance. Also an autonomous Ottoman province, called Eastern Rumelia was created in northern Thrace. Eastern Rumelia was annexed to Bulgaria in 1885 through bloodless revolution. 
During the early 1890s, two pro-Bulgarian revolutionary organizations were founded, the Internal Macedonian Adrianople Revolutionary Organization and the Supreme Macedonian Adrianople Committee. In 1903 they participated in the unsuccessful Ilinden Preobrajeni uprising against the Ottomans in Macedonia and the Adrianople Vilaya. Macedonian Slavs were identified then predominantly as Bulgarians, and significant Bulgarophile sentiments endured up among them until the end of the Second World War. In the early 20th century the control over Macedonia became a key point of contention between Bulgaria, Greece, and Serbia, who fought the First Balkan War of and the Second Balkan War of. The area was further fought over during the World War I and the World War II. Demographics most Bulgarians live in Bulgaria, where they number around 6 million, constituting 85% of the population. There are significant Bulgarian minorities in Serbia, Turkey, Albania, Romania, as well as in Ukraine and Moldova. Many Bulgarians also live in the diaspora, which is formed by representatives and descendants of the old and new emigration. The old emigration was made up of some 2,470,000 economic and several tens of thousands of political emigrants, and was directed for the most part to the US, Canada, Argentina, Brazil and Germany. The new emigration is estimated at some 970,000 people and can be divided into two major subcategories. Permanent emigration at the beginning of the 1990s, directed mostly to the US, Canada, Austria, and Germany and labor emigration at the end of the 1990s, directed for the most part to Greece, Italy, the UK and Spain. Migrations to the West have been quite steady even in the late 1990s and early 21st century, as people continue moving to countries like the US, Canada and Australia. Most Bulgarians living in Canada can be found in Toronto, Ontario, and the provinces with the most Bulgarians in Canada, Ontario and Quebec. According to the 2001 census there were 1,124,240 Bulgarian citizens in the city of Sofia, 302,858 in Plovdiv, 300,000 in Varna and about 200,000 in Burgas. The total number of Bulgarians stood at over 9 million.